Okay, what's up, guys? Now, <clears throat> this has been something I've been wanting to talk about for a while because it, it seems like I've noticed this a lot. And it's like, I, I feel like somebody should talk about it because I guess just recently with the uh, Suicide Squad movie, Rotten Tomato gave that movie a very bad rating. Like, I think they gave it... And... Uh, a 20% and um you know like I guess like their final review they gave it like all together a 20% and so the thing is like I've been thinking this for a while I've been saying this for a while because it's Rotten Tomato they seem to like they like to give uh good movies bad ratings and bad movies good ratings and stuff now I feel like, you know, to maybe, I don't know, there's there's not really ever a bad movie unless it's like a bad production or something like that and the movie just looks really crappy, then maybe it's just like, yeah, then I guess like they like to give crappy movies uh, good ratings and then movies where people, they put so much, uh, you know, of a budget into it, then they just, they're all like, right to me, it was like, oh, well, you know, we don't care. We don't care about how much it made in the box office what the fans say about it, any of that stuff. And I feel like, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if there's people out there that's like that, but they see the, you know, what Rotten Tomato gave it, and they're all like, well, I'm not going to go see it. But how I base it off of, I base it off of, like, you know, how much you made in the box office and the fans, okay? I base it off the fans' reviews because, I don't know, I feel like, you know, with uh, Rotten Tomato, they might be getting paid, to give movies bad ratings like good movies. Because it's like, look, I haven't even seen Suicide Squad. But it does look like a good movie. I mean, they made like, what, three, four music videos off that, um, off that movie. And the music videos even look good. Like, they uh, just recently, um, Rick Ross and uh, Skrillex, they came out with Purple Lamborghini. And I'm like, man, just watching that, I was like, I want to go see this movie. So, the thing is, like, I don't really base my, you know... Or how I feel about a movie off of Rotten Tomato. I feel like a lot of people shouldn't and things. Because Rotten Tomato, they honestly, there's a lot of good movies that I've seen. And they always give it bad ratings. I mean, sometimes they do give good movies, you know, good ratings. Like, there's very few movies out there that's like that. But the majority of the time, it's always like a bad, you know, it's like, it's always a good movie and is or it's like you know a bad movie but then it gets good ratings because no let me bring this up i remember i talked about this uh about last year or something but um rotten tomato they had gave both sharknado okay and then this movie called zombie beaver or zombie beaver whatever i don't know they gave both those movies i think it was like a 60 and an 80 rating Okay, that's Rotten Tomato. It wasn't the fans. This was Rotten Tomato, the people that own Rotten Tomato. They gave them, those two movies a 60 and an 80 rating. But movies like Suicide Squad, and I think it was Batman versus Superman. And th that's what another person was saying, and I'll probably I'll bring that up. But uh, yeah, they gave both Batman versus Superman and then Suicide Squad a 20% rating. And I'm like, these movies are good. Okay, somebody was all like, do you want to see something about sharks and a tornado, zombies and, or, or like zombies and beavers? Or do you want to see something that this, like, it turned, went from a comic book and now it's then turned into a legacy behind, you know, with this movie? I want to see the DC comic movies, okay? Because the DC comic, like, I might not be a big time comic person, but them DC comics and Marvel comics, all of those movies are good. So it's like, why would Rotten Tomato give them bad ratings? I really don't know. Like, maybe they don't like comic. It's like, if you're going to watch something that you know you're going to like, and I feel like, you know, they don't really do that. They just watch everything. And they're all like, oh, well, we're not into this, so we're just going to give it a bad rating. Like, no, for the movies that you guys don't watch, leave it up to the fans, okay? But don't leave it up to you guys, because I... I think a lot of people basically like you know whether they're gonna like a movie or not when they see your ratings but uh i'm gonna bring up this one last thing in, in the video but um they were saying because what you know because both suicide squad and then the batman versus superman you guys didn't know like you're not really into comics that much it's in a dc comic um movies those are dc comic movies and it's separate from like you know the avengers iron man captain america which are all marvel movies and stuff and 
they think, all right, a lot of people were um, thinking this even in the Reactors League. They were saying that uh, they think Rotten Tomato, they like more Marvel movies. They like the Marvel movies better than DC Comics, and they give the DC Comic movies bad ratings so more people can go see Marvel movies and stuff. And I'm like, if that's the case, then you guys shouldn't even be rating DC Comic movies at all because it's like that's that's really messed up. You guys just put like a bad rep out for DC Comics and stuff making it seem like that their movies are bad. And I'm like, when I went, all right, now I'll say this. When I went to go see Batman versus Superman, I thought that was a really good movie. And I can't wait to see more of it because I think, yeah, they were saying that it's uh, this was supposed to be like the beginning of the Justice League. So I'm like, yeah, I definitely want to uh, go. See, I'm definitely going to probably go see that because I thought Batman versus Superman was really good. Felt like the actors, they did really good as their roles. And I'm like, I, I don't know. I need to probably like, go further into it and read their reviews to see what they were saying about these movies and stuff because I'm in my eyes I'm like look Suicide Squad I haven't even seen the movie but I know that that movie I can just tell by it and plus like you know Will Smith he's like one of my all-time favorite actors like all the way from Fresh Prince I really enjoyed like all of his movies is well there is a cup there is I say there is a, um, a movie that I really didn't care for but it was, you know, the majority of his movies are good. I remember he made this movie called Seven Pounds. And I was like, I don't know, I wasn't really into it. Like, I think I was just going through this phase where I really did like, you know, comedy movies and action pack. And I'm still kind of going through that phase right now. But I'm not going to, you know, if, the, if it's like a movie like that, Seven Pounds, I really don't really see myself into a movie like that. Like, if I could see a trailer about like, oh, I'm, I'm thinking I'm not going to be into this movie. Now I'm not even going to review it. Like, if I own Rotten Tomato, if there's going to be movies out there, I'm like, look, I'm not going to review it. I'm going to leave it up to the fans. You guys can watch it and stuff if you are into those movies and things. But if not, then I highly recommend that you don't watch these type of movies. That's what I would say, all right? But I don't know. I feel like they just watch anything and everything. And they're all like, because I remember there was one movie. They gave this movie like a 90 rating. And I was just reading about it. And I'm like, what kind of mess is this? <laughs> like, what kind of movie? I hope there ain't no positive message about this movie. But uh, anyways, the guy, he had, uh, he was like talking to some like virtual woman. And she was like in this box. And I think the movie was called like her or something. It was like this little virtual box thing. And he was talking to her and he was like trying to build a relationship with her. And then turns out that she was like talking to, I guess, millions of men. I don't know. I didn't see the movie, but I think that's why I was reading about it. And I'm like, they gave this movie a 90 rating. And I'm like, there's movies out there. Like, I, I have to say my all time favorite movie is uh, Need for Speed, the movie that, you know, based off the game Need for Speed and stuff. If you have not seen that movie, okay, I, you know, if you're into racing movies, like if you're into cars and all of that, that would definitely be a movie I would recommend. Like that, if I was Rotten Tomato, I, if I if I owned Rotten Tomato or had like a business like Rotten Tomato, I definitely would give that movie like a 90 or a 100% rating. Like maybe, maybe like an 80 or a 90 because I felt like there could probably been more to the movie. I would have liked to seen more. Or, you know, I don't know, but it's just, that was probably one of my all-time favorite movies. Or if if not, it's my all-time favorite movie. And so, yeah, that movie, they gave that movie like a 20 rating. And I'm like, you guys, something's really wrong with you guys. I really did enjoy that movie. And I felt like, you know, they're probably not into cars. They're probably not into all of that stuff. And they're all like, oh, well, we don't know what's going on. So we're just going to just leave this alone. And I'm like, yeah, I just, I grew up like, you know, playing a lot of racing games. One of them being Need for Speed, so I really did enjoy that movie. So, but yeah, Rotten Tomato. I don't really base my, you know, how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna feel about a movie based off of a Rotten Tomatoes rating or something or their percentage that they give a movie. So, that being said, people, if you like, just I would recommend watch the trailer, look at the fans' reviews because I feel like that the fans. Like, of that, you know, of that genre of movies, they're more honest. And I feel like Rotten Tomato, they're not honest with their reviews and stuff. So, yeah, based off the fans, Rotten Tomato, like, the people behind and owns Rotten Tomato, don't listen to them. Because they'll give you, you know, they'll say, oh, yeah, this movie's good, and then it's bad. Or they're like, this movie's bad, and then it's good. So, yeah. Don't base it off of uh, the owners of Rotten Tomato. But anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you are new, please like and subscribe. And peace.